18650 batteries are pretty much found in almost all power tools nowadays and is um, very common to buy on eBay, Banggood, wherever. Uh, just be wary that a lot of the stuff on eBay will probably be fake stuff, but they will nonetheless work to a degree. I've made this board, but on reviewing the footage, it's not really clear what I'm actually doing with the board because I haven't used the microscope camera. I've used this camera and it might not show that clear. These are TP4056 modules. Um, these are a charging board for the 18650 batteries and other things that you can actually charge with. You basically put the USB connection in there. You've got a negative and positive to go into the battery. So you might use one of these holders and you could just rig one battery straight up to that and charge it direct. Uh, with me, I've got five linked up. And the only way you do that, if I just come in, it's very hard to see what I'm doing when I'm behind the camera. You've got the power going in from the USB lead. Now, to link it onto the next board, you obviously need a jumper wire going onto the next board for the positive and negative to carry onto the next board. Um, then you have the battery uh, negative, battery positive. So, as I said, all you're basically doing is running jumper wires from one point to the next board to the next board. So, you don't need to plug five USB sockets uh, plugs into it. You just use the one plug... And if I turn the light off, now I can't see which way this actually goes. No matter which one I plug into, all of them light up because you've run jump, jump leads straight onto the next board. So they will all power up. It's a very, very easy and very basic little project for anyone to do. Um, be very careful with the charges you can buy from uh, China. Uh, the wiring really is so thin, I wouldn't trust it at all. You're far better undertaking the project yourself, and for the cost, uh, you can't really grumble. These TP4056 modules, I think the best price I've seen on eBay is for 20 for about £3 something. And then these holders you can buy wherever, so it does work out quite cheap. And then obviously you just need a USB lead that runs into the uh, UK 3-pin plug and you're set to go.